Hello world, it is Thursday, April 20th, uh, 2023. Been looking out the window at Defiance. It's um, kind of overcast day. Trying to be nice, I think. Um, supposed to be really, relatively warm, uh, but I think cloudy for most of the day. The temperature's in the 80s, and then next couple days it's going to drop in temperature and we'll expect rain. But I think the weekend's looking okay. Um, 50s-ish, um, but no rain. The devotion for today is entitled Safe House by Chris Marichuk. Chris bases the devotion upon Psalm 122, verse 1 and 7 through 9, New Revised Standard Version. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Peace be within your walls. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be with you. For the sake of the house of the Lord, I will seek your good. And then Chris writes, I was glad when they said we could go back to the house of the Lord, gathered in person again with plenty of precautions. I was glad to be face to face, but not shoulder to shoulder. I didn't realize how much I had missed it. I was sad when they said it wasn't safe again. Then I was glad when they said we be, were back outside. Here's the login. Click this link. I was thankful for innovation, creativity, and flexibility. Make your own home the house of the Lord. I was glad when they prioritized safety and accessibility, honoring vulnerability, and the mutual care of a covenant. Then I was sad when they shared the emails and calls, the threats and ultimatums, the pressure and weight and sleepless nights from trying to ensure their particular house of the Lord was a safe house for all. There was no peace within the walls or within themselves. There was something uniquely holy about being together physically in the house of the Lord. Not everyone feels safe yet. Innovation is still needed. Mutual care is a priority. Someday we can all safely go back, go to the house. Until then, may we seek good and speak peace within our walls, within ourselves, for the sake of relatives and friends, and for the sake of the house of the Lord. And the prayer. <clears throat> when it's safe, Lord, we want to be in your house. Until then, for the sake of all, help us have peace. Amen. Well, a couple things that went through my mind reading this devotion are that um, we really need to respect other people's um, sense of security and safety. If someone doesn't feel safe, that's okay for them. Um, and we have to protect for the most vulnerable. Even still, I mean, the, the COVID pandemic uh, looks relatively low in our area. Um, but if there is somebody particularly vulnerable in our community, and we need to help um, protect them, uh, even if it um, means perhaps us going out of our way. But um, we need to have compassion for for everyone. And this devotion made me think of the time of the pandemic, and we didn't really have many issues in our church. I think most people were in pretty pretty much agreement uh, about um, when we should close, when we should reopen, wearing masks, and and those sorts of things. Um, but I know of other, I have other colleagues um, where it was quite contentious in their congregations, creating ill will and division within the church, um, which to me seems strange because as followers of Christ, we should always have compassion for one another um, and care for one another and wish the best for one another and sacrifice for each other um, for someone else's care and um and health and, and safety and, and that sort of thing. Um, we're still providing the option of being in person or um, participating from home um, as people see fit. And I know there are still some that are participating every week. I see them there on um, our Facebook live feed, uh, participating from home. And if that's what uh, is needed for them to feel safe and connected, then that's okay. I'd like to see them in person. I can't deny that, but I'm glad that they're still staying connected. That's the most important thing. So it's Thursday. I've um, got a few things again this weekend. So I hope to see you on Sunday for worship. Worship music starts around 10, 15 or so. And then um, uh, we have announcements about 10, 27 and worship follows immediately after that. And I'll be back in the pulpit this weekend. And so I hope you can join us either live or 
on Facebook Live. So, um, but come join us. Hope you have a good day and um, hope to talk to you soon.